So Greg, what is a data hub? It's a great question. A data hub is essentially a consolidated repository of data. And we recommend that you use the data hub framework to really accelerate how you build that hub. And once you've built the hub, you can then use it to both run your business as well as to see your business and do those type of analytical and reporting type of work. How do you go about creating one? So what we recommend is that you really first start with the data services first approach. And what that means is that you think about what it is you're trying to build for your customer. What is something that you can deliver them right away that's going to yield them actual value? And you focus on integrating just the data that you need in order to achieve that goal. And once you've done that, then you begin an iterative approach to data integration and building your data services on top of the hub. So what kinds of data sources can be brought into the data hub? So there's a lot of different data that MarkLogic can manage. We are a multi-model NoSQL database. That means we can work with documents like XML and JSON and binary type of documents, which could be a PDF or a Word document or a movie. We're also a triple store, so we can manage RDF data inside of the database as well. And the data that comes into a hub traditionally comes from various legacy systems. That might be relational databases, uh, that might be message bus or content management systems or mainframe systems. Okay. And when you get it all in, then what do you do with it? So once you've brought the data in, which is really easy to do because the database is flexible, it doesn't require you to define a schema up front in order to bring that data in. Uh, but just because you brought it in doesn't mean that that's in the form that you really exactly need it in to deliver that data service. So what we do is we curate the data inside of the hub in an iterative way. What do you mean by curate the data? So curation means that we're going to take that data that we loaded as is, in its original form from whatever source system it came from, and we're going to make it more valuable. We're going to make it do the things we need in order to deliver that service to our customer. That might mean mapping fields that are in different forms across different sources into a consistent representation. That might mean transforming a piece of data like a date into a consistent representation to deliver that service. It might mean enriching the data, making it more valuable, which we can do through some pretty cool semantic technologies and enrichment inside of MarkLogic. Okay, I see where you're going with this. So you pull in only the data that you need to get going. You get it into a form that allows you to meet your customer requirements. But then how do you access the data from the hub? So once you've integrated and then curated that data, you then start to build your data services on top of it. And there, developers got a lot of choice. MarkLogic has many different APIs that you can use to build those data services. For example, Java, Node.js, JavaScript, XQuery. Those are all different ways to interact with the data in your hub. Okay, that sounds great. Can you show me how to do it? Yeah, and that's what we're going to do next.